Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Because she got to be a working three. You said you wanted to know who you were according to the Bible. Yeah. Okay, come closer. I want you to look at something real quick. We're going to get back to you in a second. Hold on. Wake him up. What's your nationality? What's your nationality? I believe you see by Wake him up. So you say y'all know? T Jock. Your nationality means your race. What's your race? Black. Okay. African American. According to the Bible, you will be from the tribe of Judah. Right. Okay, but it's not, that's not common knowledge. What's going on, bro? Get Isaiah 1 and 3. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Read it out. The ox knoweth his owner. The ox knows an ox is a dumb animal. Okay? It serves a purpose. It's just, it's just not that intelligent. Read. The ass, and the ass, his master's crib. And an ass, a donkey, is also, well, it might be more intelligent than an ox, but it's stubborn. Okay, read. But Israel do not know. But we don't know. An ox knows where it comes from. An ass knows where it comes from, who it belongs to. But we don't know. We don't know we from the tribe of Judah as so-called African Americans. Right. Okay? That's why when we ask you, you know, what's your nationality, you like, I don't know what you mean, you know, because we don't think about it. Read. My people do not consider. We don't consider it. You know what I'm saying? You got to go? Hey, listen, man. Later, listen. Come back. I guess. You need help, bro. Come <laughs> back. Uh, so it's, it says um, that our people don't consider. We don't even think about what, who we are. We don't even think about where we come from. You understand? Where, where was you? Where you come from? Where you born? Where was you born? Charlotte. Charlotte. Where you come from, bro? Charlotte. Okay. Do you know your nationality? <laughs> nah, I'm just whatever they told me I was. Just See? Like whatever my name is, whatever they need. That's it, what I it, am. Exactly. Watch this. Read it again. Isaiah one and three. One more time. The book of Isaiah, chapter one and verse three. Bring it out. The ox know of his owner. Uh -huh. And the ass his master's crib. They know they own us and they know where they belong. Read. But Israel uh -huh. do not know. We don't know. You you right. You said uh, whatever they told me. What they tell you you was. Come look at this song. What they tell you was. Yeah, they told you you was African American. Yeah. The officer was bringing out earlier that that's two white men. Right. Okay, Amerigo Vespucci. Okay, Leo Scipio's Africanus, the lands were named after those men. Okay, those were not Israelite men, those were white men. Right. So we call them ourselves two white men, essentially. Okay, they're giving us, they, why do we have, why are we the only ones who our nationality change every 10 years? Wake them up. Afro-American, African-American, colored, Negro. They call us everything but what the Most High God calls us. That's right. Which is the Israelites. Get, um, get... Deuteronomy chapter 28. This is for y'all because are y'all familiar with the slave trade? A little bit. Y'all know the blacks went into slavery though, right? Y'all know in America, we were the ones that were slaves. Blacks, right. Hispanics, Native Americans, we were the slaves, right? Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, and I want you to jump sh to straight to 68. Straight Bring to 68. It, out. it out. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord shall bring us into Egypt again. What we was telling Latavia earlier is that we served in bondage under Egypt. Right. Okay, so we learned their customs. We learned their ways. We started believing in their gods right. that don't exist. Okay, 
it says that uh, we would be brought into Egypt again. But Egypt here is synonymous for something. It means bondage. It means slavery. Because in the context of Deuteronomy 28, we were leaving Egypt. We were leaving. Teach on. So the Most High said, we're going to bring you into Egypt again. That's right. Then I'm going to bring you into slavery again. That's right. I'm going to bring you into bondage again. That's right. right. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Bring it out. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, right. out of the house of bondage. So Egypt means the house of bondage. So when God says in Deuteronomy 28, 68, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again, he said, I'm going to bring you into the house of bondage again, right. meaning slavery. But watch this. Read. And the Lord, excuse me, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He's going to bring you into slavery again with what? With ships. Where's the sign? With what? Where's the sun? With ships. The Most High said he would bring us into Egypt again with ships. Look at this. Look at that. Y'all familiar with that? Look familiar? The slave ships? Teach the Most High God said he was going to bring us into slavery again Teach with ships. That happened. That's that happened. Right. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. He said exactly how I'm telling you what's going to happen. That's how it's going to happen. You're going to break my commandments, and I'm going to send you into slavery on slave ship. Teach right. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. Meaning we wouldn't see our homeland again. We wouldn't know where we come from. That's why y'all say, I'm from Charlotte. I'm whatever they tell me I am. You know what I'm saying? We all thought the same thing before as well. We, I thought I was black. Right. You know what I mean? Some of us didn't care. Isaiah 1 and 3 said we didn't even consider. We, some of us didn't even care. I don't care who I am. You know, I'm just a person. Right? But it's important to know who we are and where we come from. I want to finish 68 first. Wake him up. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there. And there. When you got off those slave ships, which would be what? Where do we get off the slave ships? Somewhere in the BCs, I guess. I don't know. The BCs? Yeah, I don't know. Well, when, when, when we got off. No, I'm saying, when, I'm saying where did we get off? What location? Yeah, look, yeah, location. It says here, I guess. In, in America, right? Read. And there ye shall be sold. Here in America, you was gonna be sold. You was gonna be sold. Look at that. Look at these. Look at this right here. Didn't that happen? You will be sold in America. Teach out. Read. <laughs> Unto their enemies. Unto your enemies. We will be sold to our enemies. What does that say about the so-called white man? If we was going to be sold to our enemies, what does that say about the white man? Wake them up. What, what, does, what does it say, what does it say what, what, about What does that mean about the white man? If it says we will be sold, we will be sold to our enemies, who does that make the white man? Bring it out. Uh, it would make it would make them our enemies. That's right. right. You understand that? Your enemies going is gonna lie to you. They're gonna deceive you. They're gonna tell you that you were African American. Right. They're gonna say you a Negro. They're gonna say you a nigga. They're gonna tell you you everything but a child of God. That's, That's right. Everything right. but an Israelite to whom pertain to the adoption, the kingdom of heaven. Everything on this earth belongs to the Israelites. That's right. So if you know you an Israelite. That means that you're, gonna, you're above them, okay? They don't have a God. Remember we were bringing that out earlier. They don't have a God. They don't have heritage, okay? So they try to take it from you. They try to tell you that you're African-American. You a nigga. You're not from the tribe of Judah. Big job. Levi. That's what they tell you. That's the traits of an enemy. That's right. An enemy would do that. That's you know right. what I mean? That's why it says you would be sold unto your enemies. Read. And there. You shall be sold unto your enemies uh -huh. for bond men, for slave men, read, and slave women, read it, excuse me, and bond women, and slave women, read, and no man shall buy you, and no man shall buy us, meaning nobody will redeem us, okay, nobody will save us, you know, as, as, as time went on, guess what, we became more and more degenerate, we became more and more lost. Okay, we don't know who we are now. When we first got over here, we knew. And as time went on, now you can't read, you can't write, you got murdered, you got embarrassed, you got castrated, your women, our women got raped, our, our men got uh, uh, 
uh, killed, our families got separated. Teacher. All of that happened to destroy us as a people. That's right. Look at us now. We be bugged out, bro. We be tripping. We don't know who we are. We don't care who we are. You understand? And that is why we in the state that we in. Wake them up. What you got? got you. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 66. Bring it out. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. And thy life shall hang in doubt before us. Where do you see that happening? Our lives hanging in doubt. We don't know whether we're going to survive the day or not. Right now. Right now, right here. Right here. Right here in America. Right here in the ghettos. Our lives are hanging down right here. Uh, you see what happened to Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, right. okay, Freddie Gray, Sandra Bland, all of these so-called black uh, men and women who are suffering the curses of Deuteronomy. Wake them up. You understand? That happened because we broke God's commandments. That's right. right. That's right. Bring it out. But what it's showing you is that this Bible is talking about us. Right. That's the ultimate, that's the grand scheme of things. This Bible's for us, and we got to keep God's commandments. Teach on. You understand? Read it again. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. Uh -huh. And thou shalt fear day and night. And we shall fear day and night. Okay? When you see police lights behind you, what, what happened? Your heart might sink as a people. I'm not saying you specifically. Police get behind me, he's gonna have to catch me. <laughs> but, that's the, but that's the thing. Why, why do we feel like we gotta run from the police? You know what I mean? The same reason why it's not our fault. Because we don't know everything we supposed to know about stuff like this. Because see, we had uh, grandmamas and mamas and, and before them and who would talk that and who taught us what the white man know so how what, what, what do exactly know? But, it, but that's why we out here what's your name Bernard Bernard but that's exactly why we out here that's right you understand because you're right we were taught that it was generational curses it did come down the line my great great grandma taught my great grandma taught my grandma taught you know what I mean taught my mama and my pops, they, he didn't know nothing, and, they, and I just learned. I'm a product of their ignorance. You understand? That's how we. That's how it worked. That's what destruction did to us. That's what slavery did to us. Right, yeah. But also in the Bible, it said something like uh, that he that he uh, split everybody up and with different different languages, different tongues. So that way, you know he. They want us to uh, know everything uh, that the next person knows. Or to try to figure out how to get to heaven, they say. That, that's, that is true. That did happen. Okay? And what happened as a result? We got over here and was taught a language that wasn't, that didn't belong to us. Now we can't communicate with our brothers and sisters uh, as, as, as easily. Because the ones who were conquered in 1492 speak Spanish. We speak English. Can you speak Spanish? A little bit. You may know a few words, but a conversation? I can't come out here and teach nobody in Spanish, even though I know they're my brother or my sister. I can't teach them in Spanish. Why? Because we were taught different languages. Why? Because we were conquered by different people. That's right. Divide and conquer. That's what happened. It, it, it destroyed us ultimately. Right. You understand? Right. No matter how you look at it or twist it or turn it, it, it's never, it doesn't fail or uh, negate the fact that we the children of Israel, we suffer from curses. Right. That's right. You understand? And shall have no assurance of thy life. And we shall have no assurance of our life. We don't know whether we're going to survive the next day or not, especially when we grow up in impoverished areas and neighborhoods, especially when we grow up in the projects, especially when we grow up uh, uh, not knowing who we are, not seeing Jesus Christ in one another. Did you know Jesus was black? Bring it out! He was up there. Oh, I got one. You, you, you can. He went through the same room that. You would guess so, right? But what do they pitch? What do they uh? What's the word? Perpetuate throughout the earth. Portray. What do they? What do they do throughout the earth? Who they show us is Jesus. This bastard right here, the so-called white man, they say he's Jesus. It's Jesus. Guess what? If we think that the white man is Jesus, are we going to see Jesus in one of us in one another? Are we going to? Am I going to look at him as Christ if I think Christ is white? Teach. No. You no. Know I, I, I was just joking with my girl there, like, but not joking. She was talking to me, and I was like, I'm God. I was saying, 
know, you know she was like, maybe something I was saying to her, but I never, I never was really one of the ones, see, I'm from West Boulevard, uh -huh. but, I, but I never was one of the ones who was really that much confused because I already knew everything was kind of made up and if uh, people was going off just what other people say. Right, so, that, but that's what we're uh, doing right, right here. Uh, nationality and everything. So actually, whenever I went to DMV last time mm -hmm. and they asked me, like, uh, I told them I was in Hispanic. So he was Hispanic? Yeah, because okay. I was confused, just like you said. So, hey, it ain't news to me saying I'm, a, I'm, nah. I'm, a, I'm an African-American or whatever. That's, the, that's what we bring it out. Watch this. I'm about to show you real quick that Jesus Christ is black and you said that you was God. Now, you're not the most high God, but you, you got to understand that us as so-called uh, black, Hispanics, Native Americans, which are the Israelites, us as Israelite men, we are God. Right. That's right. We are God. And I can prove that with the Bible. That's right. Watch I'm, this. Hold on. Watch this. Let's get that first, matter of fact. I know. Hold on, watch exactly this, say, We are all guys with the small G. We don't got to it, You're right. Well, watch this. Let's let's read it so that the that the people that can hear us in earshot don't think that we just talk. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are gods. I have said, ye are gods. The most I say, you are gods on this earth. You know what it means to be a god? It means to be a judge. You understand? We supposed to judge this earth. We supposed to rule this earth. We supposed to make sure that everything is running the way that it's supposed to. You understand? It says ye are gods, ye are judges. Read. And all of you are children of the most high. And y'all are children of the most high God. He chose y'all. Read. But ye shall die like men. But because of our sins, we shall die like men. That's, that's the problem. Our sins caused us to die like men, three. And fall like one of the princes. Uh-huh, and fall like one of the princes. What, you got something else? Go ahead. Arise, oh God, uh -huh. judge the earth. That's the point right there. God, the most I got with, this is uh, David, but um, the Psalm of David. He said, arise God and judge this earth. Bring us back to our rightful state as God. Reach. Arise, O oh God, mm -hmm. and excuse, judge the earth, uh -huh. for thou shalt inherit all nations. But we're going to inherit all the nations. We're going to run this thing. But that's God's program. Period. That's so right. we out here to talk to you, Bernard, to make sure that you can get you get on the right side of the fence so that you can judge this earth too. All right? That's why we out here. The faster we get our brothers and our sisters to repent, to keep God's commandments, to recognize who they are, to start uh, realizing that they, that princesses of the, God, of the Lord, that, that our men are gods on the earth, we're judges. Once we start remembering that and knowing that, everything's gonna change. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.